I know we all love betting on the WNBA and baseball, but Sportsbooks, Prize Picks, Underdog Fantasy, they've started to release NFL season long player prop um, lines, and I found some pretty good bets. There's a lot of value out there, so let's get into these plays. So I always say this, but as sharp bettors, we are hunting through the market looking for value. And in the NFL season long player props, there's some pretty big discrepancies, right? So if you take a look at Dallas Goder, prize picks has his receiving yards line for the season at 675 half, right? And then if you take a look at, you know, underdog, it's the exact same bet. They have his line 50 yards lower at 625 half. So a lot of people, you know, new sports bettors, they just think about their bet as, you know, I took the over or I took the under. But what you have to realize is books can set the line at different levels. And here there's a huge gap, 50 yard gap for Dallas Goder. So one strategy that I really like is called middle betting. So Odds Jam actually has a tool for middle bets. And if you look, what you could essentially do is you could take the under for Godair on prize picks, under 675 half. You could take the over 625 half on underdog fantasy. And if Godair has anywhere between 626 and 675 passing yards or receiving yards, what am I saying? You're going to win your under on prize picks and you're going to win your over on underdog fantasy. Right, so middle betting is taking advantage of inefficiencies in the market when sports books are setting the line at different levels, right? So essentially, because there's a 50 yard gap for Dallas Goder, we take his over on underdog, which only has his line at 625 half. We take the under, right, on prize picks at 675 half. And if he has anywhere between 626 and 675 receiving yards in the season, we're going to win both bets. Right, so that is the strategy that I use to find these five crazy good player prop bets I'm about to show you on underdog fantasy and prize picks. I'm middle bet, right? I'm middle bet. It's called a middle bet. So if you take a look, what I went with on underdog fantasy and prize picks, I'll just go ahead and pull it up for you guys, is right here. So first I took Jalen Waddell under 1,199 half receiving yards. You look at underdog fantasy, they're 200 yards lower, basically, or 175 yards. They have his line on underdog at 1,025, right? So that's a, you know, 174-yard gap. So basically, if Waddle has anywhere between 1,026 and, you know, 1,199 receiving yards on the season, I'm winning my over on underdog fantasy, and I'm also winning my under on um, prize picks. Then you look at Tua, right? Like 200 yard gap or 199 yard gap. Prize picks has his line at 399 half, right? You take a look at underdog fantasy, 3,800, right? And an added benefit, something you have to consider is a great added benefit about pairing these plays together is Tua and Waddle are correlated, right? So if Tua goes over in terms of his passing yards, then Jalen Waddle is more likely to go over in terms of receiving yards, right? Waddle is one of Tua's main receivers. So if Waddle goes, so if Tua, you know, has a great season and throws for 6,000, 5,000 passing yards, then Jalen Waddle is more likely to go over his receiving yards total, right? And it's same thing for taking the unders. Like it wouldn't really make sense to take Tua under and Waddle over, right? Because this is his quarterback. So we have the added benefit here in this middle bet of correlation for these NFL plays. So then I have Christian Kirk under 849 half on prize picks. You take a look at underdog fantasy, right? I took him over 790 half. So there's another huge gap, 60 yards. Trevor Lawrence, another huge gap, right? 200 yards. Prize picks, Again, we're getting positive correlation. Jacksonville receiver, I'm taking his under. And quarterback, I'm taking his under. And then Lamar Jackson, I took his under six and a half rushing TDs on underdog, his over six and a half rushing TDs on um, uh, prize picks. And these are the two plays I went with. And again, like as a sharp better, I say this all the time, but you're hunting through the market. You're looking for value. So I really encourage you to go to these NFL season long lines. You can tweet any good ones. 